I got really lucky with my housing. Um, I mostly just lived in, in flats that were, they call them flats rather than apartments. Um, but I mostly was living um, just with, in two man flats. But there are there are a few um, four man flats um, in England, and those were the most fun. <laughs> um, depending on I guess who's who's in the house with you, but um, yeah, I, I mean it's it's kind of similar to America um, in terms of, of living. There's there's little differences like um, something funny is that they a lot of times we. Um, I only had a dryer once in my whole mission and it was like a combined washer dryer and so it's really horrible it doesn't dry your clothes <laughs> it's like very moist so I didn't even ever use it um, so most of, most of the time I was there um, I didn't use a dryer and you just kind of get used to it but they also have um, when I first went I, I hated it I was like I need a dryer <laughs> but um, they also have, rather than, you know, how in America you have, like, heating vents uh, from, from the floor, usually. Um, in England, they they, tend, so they still tend to have radiators in almost every house. Um, so there'll just be a little radiator in each room or so. And <laughs> funny enough, you, you end up using the radiators a lot to dry your clothes. So you'll, you'll just hang your clothes on the radiator and um, it's nice in the, I remember in one of the flats I was in, um, it was nice to have the radiator because it was in our study room. And so <laughs> whenever we went into study in the morning in the winter when it was like freezing, we would both just sit against the radiator. And so it was kind of cozy, um, but that's a difference. Um, the, <laughs> the toilets are a little bit different as well. Um, I don't know if you want to know about that, but <laughs> It t um, for some reason they tend to have a lot less water and I don't know they're just different like when I got back it's like okay that's an American toilet um, so that was kind of funny um, other than that though they're they're mostly they're mostly the same oh except the the windows are different too um, they never have screens um, and England doesn't have that many bugs so it doesn't really matter but we'd get flies sometimes um, and they always they always have the same latch thing and you open them out and um, you know, it's never like pull up um, like here. Um, so those are some little differences with the flats. Um, transportation, uh, for me it was mostly, mostly buses um, and walking. And um, a lot of the areas you go, they will have double-decker buses. I remember the very first um, day or so I was in the mission, um, we got on the bus and my trainer was like, okay, let's go to the top. Like, that's the best, that's the best seat on the bus. And I didn't know anything, so I just followed her. Um, and it can be kind of tricky walking up the stairs of the double-deckers because usually the, the driver starts moving before you're completely at the top. Um, so you have to be careful, and especially coming down. I remember one sister telling me that she, um, they were, it was a pee day and they had gone shopping and she had milk and she slipped and dropped the milk and it went everywhere. <laughs> so you have to be, you have to be careful. And another sister, I think pretty soon out in her mission fell on the stairs and just wrecked her ankle and had to go home. So be careful on the stairs of the double deckers. Um, but it is true that the, the best seats are at the top because you can see everything and it's, and it's fun. Um, <clears throat> and so yes, we were we did buses and we walked a lot. Um, you do use the train occasionally, but mostly just to get to meetings or places that are farther away. Depending on the area you're in, um, if it's a really small hamlet or something, you'll use the train to go to outlying areas. Um, and then the last... Um, Actually, the last six months of my mission, I, I ended up having a car. And your American license lasts for a year in the country, and then you have to get a license in their country. And the the test to get a license over there is really um, kind of tricky. <laughs> it, like, you have to, like, be right on or they fail you. It's, like, the American um, license test is so much easier compared to them. So, um, it's kind of annoying as a sister missionary cause, cause you have a year and then you only have six months. Um, but, um, but it was a, it was a fun experience to get my license there. Um, I had to get some hours in and I got to know, um, 
the do's and don'ts of roundabouts. Um, I remember roundabouts were terrifying the first few times because there's so many exits and and you have to learn the etiquette of um, which blinker goes on when and um, or you, you just get I almost got in an accident a few times <laughs> in roundabouts um, but luckily I had a companion that was from Australia for a while and so when we would drive she could like tell me because um, they drive on the other side there as well um, and so so that took me um, I failed my first time on the practical driving test and then, so I had to take it twice then I passed and um, it was fun driving there I got to drive on the other side and I had to adjust it back a bit when I got back but it was good um, so yeah it's it's mostly it's mostly buses um, trains and and occasionally cars but not that many missionaries have cars there so and um, you get to it's better to use public transportation anyway because um, you can talk to more people and and uh, you come across a lot more people than driving so um, as far as work goes um, it's it's kind of similar to here um, it's not very different people are I mean people are doctors lawyers um, farmers just kind of the spectrum um, and uh, with shopping um, like grocery shopping, um, there's a few main like well-known shops: um, Tesco, Sainsbury's, um, Asda. Asda is a good one to know because it's um, actually owned by Walmart. And so, if you want, um, they do have some American things there, and and Asda's pretty cheap. So we would go there a lot on P days. Um, the um, as far as what's in the shops. Um, uh, it's pretty it's pretty much the same too I mean these are just little differences but um, they do have a lot of um, Cadbury chocolate um, if you're a fan of that and um, everything else you can kind of get the same I mean it's just meat and, and produce and stuff like that so they live they live pretty closely to how we do okay so I actually brought some money to show and this is 10 pounds um, so this is one of the smaller bills. The smallest bill you can get is five pounds. Um, and as you can see, it it has the a picture of the queen on it. And so it's a bit different than than British uh, than American money. American money, I think, compared to other world um, other country currency, is a bit boring. Um, other money's uh, usually kind of more colorful, but um, this would be about um, fifteen dollars, give or take, um, over here. And this is the back of it. And uh, it's funny because uh, American money still looks a little bit strange to me. I mean, I just got so used to it. Um, and they have. Um, I remember. <laughs> I remember I, that I felt like um, I was kind of in. Uh, um, when I could sort through my my change person and, and pick out the right coins because <laughs> um, they are different they use pence so there's like 1p 2p um, 10p 20p and then there's a one pound and a two pound coin so um, yeah so the money was fun um, that's just a, a little shot of it